Hello everyone, the Washi Tape Shop have very kindly sent me another package of Washi Tapes to unbox. Um, this is to promote their Black Friday sale. They have got 20% off all of their Washi Tapes um, and I'll leave the discount code which is Black Friday, uppercase, all one word, in the description box below for you for anybody who's interested. Um, so these are how the Washi Tapes come packaged. They've always got little stickers on the top showing you the designs. Um, so let's unwrap some of these this one is absolutely gorgeous this is their pet tape um, range absolutely beautiful let me see if I can um, figure out how to get um, into this I received um, a floral one in the last package and it is absolutely beautiful just look at this I mean the designs are just gorgeous we've got two more rolls of the pet tape just look how gorgeous this is aren't those images adorable and it just goes on and on and on. And, you know, as with the flower one that I had um, in last um, my last package, there are just so many different um, designs. And then we've got this one here as well. Just look how pretty this is. Just, just look at the little shoe. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Then there's this set here. We've got six rolls of this beautiful gold foil tape. Let me just take the sticker off and I'll show you what this um, is like. We've got um, six different colourways. I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up the gold. It's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. And this is one of the tapes where you have to um, take off the, the backing. This set is just absolutely gorgeous. I love every single one of these designs. Um, they've all got the gold foiling on. Just beautiful. We've got this one here, which is an autumn themed set. This one here is another very, very pretty floral design. We've got two rolls of flowers, a wide one and this narrow one here. This one's got gorgeous gold on it. We've got these beautiful little um, labels here as well. Let me just... Um, show you these so those can be cut out um, and used individually just show you this I think this is gorgeous and the colours so pretty as well again with little gold um, detail on as well so here's this set unraveled absolutely beautiful designs isn't this set gorgeous? Um, two rolls of washi tape and I do believe that these are stickers let me just open them out and um, and we'll see and just as I thought, these two are regular rolls of um, washi tape, whereas the top two um, are stickers. Of course, I'm not going to be able to peel one up now, am I? But, um, but there we are. And then finally, we've got a Christmas themed set. So let me just open this up and see what's inside here. This set is just absolutely gorgeous. I love these images and I'll open the rolls up um, in a second. But just look at these beautiful images. Um, a wonderful way for decorating, um, craft, plain gift wrap or making your own tags. Let's open them up and see what they look like. All three rolls of these tapes are individual stickers, but the images are just absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the little elf. Oh, these would just be lovely for decorating tags making little Christmas themed gift tags. So let's have a look and see what we can make with some of these washi tapes. As you can see, I've cut out individually some of these little um, flower pot houses, watering can houses. I just think they are adorably cute. Um, so one of these will form my focal image. Let me just put um, that back together. I've also got a piece of cardstock which measures three and a half inches. Whoops, I've dropped it by three inches. And to start off with, I'm going to cover the background in some of this washi tape here from one of the um, other sets. I'm going to start off um, in the middle just because we haven't, um, the width, it's too wide for me to cover it if I start at the edge and I want things to be symmetrical. So let me just cut um, a little bit of this and I'll start off by sticking um, this down first. Now this is one of the types of washi tape um, that has a backing. So let's put it on its side let me stand up to do this and I'm going to aim to get it roughly in the middle that will do it doesn't have to be exactly um, perfect and let me just um, trim off the top and the bottom just to stop it um, sticking to my background 
and then I've cut two more pieces of washi tape which I'm just going to stick down to either side. So there we go, that's my background. I think that's really pretty. Now I want to create myself a hill and I'm going to use some of this um, gorgeous green washi tape here. I'm just going to cut um, a piece off just slightly longer than the width of my card and I want to cut it um, into um, a hill shape. I've cut, where's the other piece of uh, card gone? Here it is. Um, I've cut um, a hill shape out of a piece of cardstock and there's two ways you can do this. I could put this on and draw around it or I could use this and draw around the inside. Let's go for, for this one here. I'm wondering whether I can just hold that in place actually. Um, which way up does it go? Not that it really matters. I don't know, it goes this way up. So let's cut a hill. Let's just cut around this, um, this shape. Try and hold it um, in place. And I'm just going to roughly, as carefully as I can, cut um, around this. Just moving my fingers as I, as I go along. move it um, along again. Yep, you see this is fine. No need to uh, draw on it. And so I'm just going to stick that down on the bottom there like that. And I've been using um, a little piece of sellotape which I've been sticking to the front of my design just so that I can peel the back off and actually um, that will make it easier for me to stick my washi tape down. I think this was um, G Kerr's um, idea. So let's stick that on and then I can just um, peel my sellotape off. I'm just using the Scotch brand, which um, is fairly low tack anyway. Isn't that pretty? So I just need to choose one of these little cuties to glue on or to stick on top. And I think it's going to be this one here. You see, any of them would look absolutely beautiful. That one's too summery. I'm going to go for this one here with the beautiful berries. And again, I've got um, another piece of sellotape, so we'll just stick that on the front of the design. Yep, you see, and that just makes it so much easier um, to peel off. I can't believe that I haven't tried this um, sooner. And so let's just stick my little teapot down like um, like that and uh, peel off my, my sellotape before I forget that, um, that it's there. And then I can just use a bone folder then to smooth that down. Um, and that is just absolutely beautiful. You can barely, barely see um, the outline of the um, tape, but I just think that's very, very cute. I just need to cut off the edges of my little um, my little hill. Now I want to create myself a background for my card. Now this measures three by three and a half inches. So I've cut myself another piece of cardstock um, that's an inch bigger all round. So this measures four by four and a half inches. And I don't know whether you can see it, I've drawn a line um, down the center because I want to use this washi tape here for my background. It's got butterflies on it. Um, color wise, I think it's just going to tie in really well. It's another one that's in the same set as the green I used. And the reason I've drawn myself a line in the centre is that this is just very, very slightly over one inch wide. Um, so I'm going to need four pieces, but I want to start off um, in the centre. So again, as I did before, um, I, in fact, let me just um, take that piece of um, tape off here that's... Um, holding my washi tape closed. And I'm going to cut myself four pieces again, just a little bit longer than the length of my card. Let's start off with this one here. Let me just grab a piece of tape. I've got some um, tape stuck all over my desk, which I can't peel off. So let's grab a, a fresh piece. But what I'm going to do is just peel my tape up in the same way as I did before. So much easier. I can't believe I haven't done this um, before. In fact, let me peel it off um, now. Stick that to my tripod and I'm just going to find the centre. And that's my, my starting point. And then, of course, I can add a piece next to it and to either either side. So I'm just going to fill up um, my piece of card. 
So that's my background. Um, that's what that looks like. I have trimmed it down slightly just because I felt it was a little bit too big. Now, before I glue it down to a card base, I just want to ink around the edges. I'm just going to use some frayed burlap. It probably won't stick to the washi itself because it has sort of like um, a plasticky finish, um, but it will cover up the white, white edges. And I'll do the same to the background as well whilst I'm whilst I'm at it. I've cut myself a piece of cardstock um, card base here that is two eighths of an inch um, bigger than my background all the way around. So I'm going to start off by gluing this down first. Um, I'm just going to use some of my fabric glue. That's my background glued down. I just had it weighted down underneath a heavy book whilst I went and fed Louis. And you can see that I've added three pieces of dimensional foam tape to the back of my focal image. So I'm just going to peel off the backing and let's stick this down. I just wanted it to have a little bit um, of dimension. Let me just make sure that I get that evenly spaced about there, I think. And isn't that a pretty card? So let me show you how to use an envelope punch board to make um, an envelope for this card that we can decorate with more washi tape. Now, I need um, an envelope that measures four and a half by five inches. And so here is my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board for anybody that's not familiar with this. It's really easy to use. So I'm going to look on my card grid here. And for a four and a half by five inch envelope, I need a piece of paper that measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters so i've cut a piece of thin cardstock here this is probably i don't know 120 gsm and it's telling me that i need to score at three and three quarters and this is the score line so i'm just going to put my piece of um, paper thin cardstock in here and i'm going to go to three and three quarters and i'm going to punch and then I'm going to um, score. Let me just get rid of that um, glue off my um, envelope. I'm going to then rotate it anti-clockwise and line it up with my score line here. Punch and then score again. Rotate, line it up with the score line. Punch and score. And then we'll do it again one last time, lining it up with the score line again, punch and score. So that is the basis of my envelope. Now, you've also got um, this little tool. Let me just get rid of um, these punch out bits here. Hang on, bear with me a second. Let's pop those in the bin. You've also got um, a little cutter at the tip here. And I like to round off the top and bottom of my envelope. I just think it gives it, I mean, if you look at that compared to that, it just gives it a really nice finish. And so that's it. That is the basis of our envelope. And then all we need to do is just fold in the sides here, left and right, fold this one up here, and we just need to add a small amount of glue. So I'll use my three in one for that. I'll just apply a dab of glue here. You could use tape if you wanted to. This glue dries incredibly quickly, so this is really easy to use. And I'm just applying the glue along those lines here. Fold it up and then I'm just going to weight it down underneath a heavy book for just for a couple of seconds until that glue grabs. Now to make the envelope extra pretty and special and coordinate with the card, I'm going to use the same washi tape that I used for the background, which is um, this one here. And I'm just going to turn my envelope upside down. Let's peel away some of this backing. And I'm just going to add a small amount of tape just to the flap of my, my envelope here, just underneath where the fold line is. And of course, I'm going to have to patch this, but you know, that's no big issue. So we've got the first one down. I'm just going to line this up really carefully. Cut, cut that off. And then just one more piece of tape just at the, at the bottom. And then we can trim around the edges and we've got um, a really pretty coordinating um, envelope. 
I'm just going to go over that with my bone folder just to make sure that the washi tape um, is adhered well. And then I can just go and trim off all of the um, excess. So that's how my envelope looks. I think that's really pretty. And we can turn the envelope over onto the other side and we can use one of the labels that's on this washi tape set here. Which one do I want to use? Because I've got gold um, in the design on my card, I'm going to use this one here. So I'm just going to cut one of these out. Let me just make sure that I've got this trimmed really really straight really nicely and then I can use my little piece of sellotape again just to get the backing of my washi tape off I might need a fresh piece is this sticky enough here we go peel that off and then stick that onto my onto my envelope let's try and make sure I get that centralized and and straight about there I think. So now we've got um, a nice little um, label to write on, we've got decorative element on the back and I love the fact that we've got the pink and the blues in this, the same as we have in this washi tape and so that's that, a really pretty coordinating envelope to go with our beautiful card. I think that set looks absolutely beautiful, thrilled to bits with that and of course I couldn't stop at just one, I've made two other sets as well, we've got this one here with the green that's the little tag on the back. Isn't that pretty? And we've got this one here. But wouldn't this make a wonderful gift to give away as a Christmas present for somebody? I just think this would make um, a beautiful set. I'll leave the link to all of the washi tapes that I've unboxed today in the description box below in order of um, how I shared them at the beginning of the video. I'll also leave the link to the discount code, which is Black Friday. Um, I'll also leave the link to my affiliate code as well, which might get you another 10% off. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to use that as well as the Black Friday code, but, you know, it's always worth a try, so I'll leave it just in case. I'm leaving the video here for today, but I hope this has given you some ideas as to how to use washi tapes creatively and especially how to bring um, washi tapes from different sets together and use them in a coordinated way. I'll also be back in a few days time sharing um, ideas as to how to use some of the other washi tapes that are included in the box that I haven't used in today's project, especially that gorgeous Christmas set. Um, but, you know, want to wait um, for a few more days until we're nearer the, that festive season. Just can't bear the thought of it just just yet. But if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know which one of these is your favourite. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.